Hi and welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a tasty codfish and onion pie. There's only a few simple ingredients goes into this recipe and it's made with a hot pie crust and I'm going to show you how to make that. I'm going to show you all the ingredients as we may as we put it into this uh, pie and what we'll do first is get our codfish uh, boiling or just lightly blanched in some hot water to get it ready for this delicious pie. If that interests you, stick around and let's get started. So what I got here is about three to four fillets of codfish. Now I got the skin on codfish. This is what our neighbor gave us, gave us last fall. And what we're going to do is put in there with that a half a teaspoonful of sea salt and we're going to let that cook there, boil for about five minutes when it starts to boil there. Now leave it in there for about five minutes just to part cook this fish so we can flake it apart. I'll show you what to do after that. Put the lid on. So in another pan, another saucepan, we're going to put three quarters of a cup of butter or margarine, whatever you got available. Certainly don't go out looking for anything that you need to, if you already got it. Three quarters of a cup of water. Now what we're going to do is let this melt and when it's all melted I'll show you what we'll do next. So after the butter and the water is, when the butter is melted and the water is warm, you're going to pour it into the bowl or you could leave it into the saucepan but this saucepan you can't see anything in it so I'll put it into the bowl that'll let you see it better. I got one teaspoonful of sea salt. You can use salt of choice, table salt and such. And we got two and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour and then you're going to gradually mix it in there and keep mixing it until this mixture becomes crumbly. Crumbled, crumbly, something like that. <laughs> I'll show you. I just love that word. Uh, yeah. Crumbly. Crumbly, yeah. Just, just keep mixing it in there. So this is a hot pastry and it's ever so good. Then after the crumbly part is done, then it start to smooth out like this as a wet uh, piece of dough with your clean hand now you're going to knead it you're going to keep kneading it dusting it with a little bit more flour until it all comes together now you don't use this right away we got to let this come to room temperature for about 30 minutes I would say for it to come to room temperature so you want to kind of make uh, the dough first so you'll have that ready to use because this is what it's going to look like. Now we're kneading it uh, like it's dough, like bread, but it's not. It, this is actually a pastry um, dough and it's quite nice and very hearty for pies that you know, you're serving as a meal, not necessarily uh, apple pie and such, like a meal, like a meal like this, or if you're doing like a stew and you want to do it in a, with this kind of dough. So all we're going to do now is cover this, cover this with a piece of saran, clear wrap, and put it to the side and let it come to room temperature. Okay, so now our fish our codfish is ready. Now if you don't have access to codfish you could use whatever type of white fish you got available in your uh, community or town. Um, what I'm going to do now uh, because this codfish that I'm using here today had, a, had skin on it, had the gray skin, I'm going to flake that off now and make sure there's no bones. Let's get to that. Now I usually just say boneless, skinless um, 
codfish or fish of choice even though this one is a codfish uh, recipe today because it alleviates you of having to do this but if you got fish that may have a little bone or something there make sure that's gone because remember this is a pie and nobody's going to see if there's a bone in there our neighbors is pretty good when they fill out their fish down there they're usually pretty good eh, at mm -hmm getting all the bones out and just look at this codfish now I can just eat this now like like that and nothing else I hope I'm making your <laughs> your mouth drool there now because <laughs> mine is I'm getting it's so uh, I can just sit down Raymond with a piece of uh, oh. homemade bread now and no, uh, lots what, of butter that's what I was thinking there for a second like you know I said I could picture a codfish Sandwich, no? Oh yeah, any any anything no. codfish for us, and we got lots of recipes up there on our channel with codfish in it, stews, soups. We got uh, bakes. Oh my gosh, we got lots up there. So we'll share a few and leave the links there for you. And that's all you need to do there. It's not fully cooked because we want for it to continue cooking in with the pie. That's it. Now I was just saying that I feel that we got the best neighbors because, you know, I know that we give to them, but they also give to us. You know, if I'm looking for some fresh fish, if I'm looking for capelin, because we got the capelin roll there, we uh, moose, moose meat, like whatever. Like I can call on them and if they don't have it, they'll know somebody that got some and then we'll get that uh, from them so we thank you in advance guys if you're there looking at our video today and you're the neighbor because you know you are so this is it so i got about four cod fillets there of course mine had the skin on and it had a couple of little bones but that's it so now we'll talk about what else we'll do so now we got these two steps done towards making our codfish onion pie. Of course, with an onion pie, you're gonna have to have some onions. So I got two medium onions here cut up in little rings. And in this pie as well is gonna be some potatoes. So I just cut them up in slices and put it in some cold water to get some of the starch off there. This is a yellow potato I'm using there today, but you use what you got available. Uh, we're also going to use for the filling after we layer this pie. We're going to roll out the dough. We'll show you that. And then the other ingredients that goes into this pie, I'll show you as we mix them together. So we'll get started now on rolling out our dough. So now that it's at room temperature, you can knead it a little bit more to bring, to work in that gluten and try to get it all combined. And everything is mixed in nice together. I'm going to cut half of it. I don't think I'm going to need the full amount of dough for, um, for this pie. So I'm just going to take half of the dough off and pull that out. And just dust my counter air a little. So just kind of dusting both sides on top and on bottom with some of that flour. And we're just going to use our roller to roll it out. Now I'm going to be making a deep dish pie. I'm going to be using my cast iron frying pan for this recipe. You could use whatever one you enjoy using but not a small pie pan because remember this is going to be uh, a hearty meal and it's got layers of onions and and potatoes so we'll need something that's a little bit of a depth to it so now I'm just going to oil that a little and then put the dough in there okay so now that we got that done I'm going to bring in our pan put my dough into there and we're going to spread it out over so it don't have to be fancy because trust me when I say this pie is going to be delicious always round. So I'm going to bring in that 
so it's just a little bit over so we can fix it around because we're going to layer in all of that delicious vegetables and cod. If you got a little bit of an oil, take some from the end and put there just to cover it. That's all. That's One a, of them old trick in the tree. Yeah, you just got to be wise to it and don't mind it flapping down over. This is the reason why I'm doing it into a deep pan because I want it that way. I want it for it to have lots of room for all of these vegetables and uh, cod to go in there. Now I got done here in advance the potatoes. I'm going to drain this off and pat it dry. We can use that first. Got Raymond to reach for a couple of pieces of paper towel. Thank you, Raymond. Oh, you're very welcome. You know what? You're not just a pretty face there behind <laughs> that camera, you know. And I know I could have you back here drawing these potatoes off, and but you're doing a fine job back there now. So what we're going to do with these now, we're going to layer the potatoes on the bottom. On top of the uncooked dough, you don't need to cook it first. It'll all cook in there, and trust me when I say you're going to be some happy with this meal because it's an affordable meal. Use the fish that you got available, and if you got access to codfish, well, there you go. You you use that. That's all you need to do there. So, I, I know. I gotta help a little bit, haven't I? You washed up. I seen you washing up, yeah, and I was thinking, what is this? So I'm going to be doing onions. You're next. going to be layering the onions next. You're going so, to be putting uh, that on. I didn't know exactly why you wants me to put them onions on there. Cause I cry. Yeah. Every time. And we don't want you crying in the show, do we? We'll just be all just <laughs> diddly daddly. Well, you're life. doing a great job, dear. So two medium sliced onions and just layer them over the top of the potatoes. Good job, Brandon. Thank you I tell own. you. Sweet. A little break from behind the camera every now and then is good, you know? You uh, don't be touching your eyes now. No, we'll get no. back in there and wash your hands again <laughs> because you don't want to be... Uh, yeah, Two thumbs out. up. Gotcha. <laughs> We got carried away there, Raymond, and uh, uh, I yeah. suppose to say season a little bit in between so you got equal amount of salt and pepper on the potato and then equal amount over the top of the onion and uh, the fish. But Even see, uh, one of this, that's the reason why I'm, the man, I'm behind the camera. Beyond the camera, I'm take that one out. I would have forgot about that. You would have, oh, but that's okay. I mean, it's no biggie. So it's about, well, I'm going to say half a teaspoonful to a teaspoonful of each one. Um, I think it's half a teaspoonful, but you use it to your taste if you like a little tiny bit more, of course. So that season there now, we're going to top it with the codfish. Look. Boys, look, I'm even putting it over the table, mm -hmm. Raymond. I mean, everything is getting a, a little taste. Not so the really. codfish, of course, is going to go down in between it as well. But just put over the top equally like this. And then after, season it again with some salt, pepper, and some onion powder. And that's it for that layer. I am making you drool now because everybody over this past little while have been eating ham, turkey, all of your traditional meals over the past little while because after Christmas we usually eat turkey up until the middle of January and then I freeze some and then we're yeah we make soup and everything else so now today is all about fish and this codfish onion pie so now i'm going to tell you what to do next i think raymond's trying to to take over the job on this side of the camera i think he'll do a great job though in the meantime i if you seriously want to, think we this, can shift year, it up. Yeah, this year i'm gonna switch it around yeah I'll get behind the camera and you and get I'll do in front cooking. of the camera. Okay. I think you can do that. <laughs> Definitely for a little bit anyway. Hopefully <laughs> oh, you guys yeah. don't get too tormented with them. <laughs> what I'm doing in now is cracking three eggs, the full large eggs, into a bowl and we're going to whisk that around. 
three eggs lightly beaten and two tablespoonfuls of all-purpose white flour is what I got there but if you can't use the white flour you use a flour of choice and the same thing with the pie crust if you can't use the white flour you use the flour of choice and we got a half a cup of cream but you could use milk as well whole milk and just whisk that around until it's all combined so now we're just going to pour this sauce over all of this delicious mixture there our codfish potato onion just pour it on over and then we're going to put there one cup of shredded cheese over the top. Now, how good is that? Yum. So now um, the, the dough that's flapped over, we're going to bring that in, pinch it in through. You could make it as pretty as you want or you can just make it a little rough. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put this pie in there for 30 minutes. And then after, we're going to turn the heat down to 350 and keep it in there for another additional 15 to 30 minutes. And you'll know when your pie crust is a nice golden brown, you've got your cheese melted and it looks like everything is just steaming there. I'll show you what mine is like when it's baked and we'll get some. So while we're waiting for our pie to finish, our codfish onion pie, we'll put a quarter of a cup of butter or margarine into the pan. We're going to be making here now a white sauce. You could call it a roux or a gravy, whichever way you want to, to call it, but it's going to be a nice creamy white sauce. We're going to fry up about a small onion chopped into little small pieces. We're going to let that start cooking favorite seasonings to use is salt, pepper and onion powder. So there's a half a teaspoonful of each one. Just toss it on in there with the onions and let's get the onions starting to cook. Not brown, just to cook and then we'll make the sauce. So now when it gets to this stage, you see it's sizzling there and the onions are starting to cook. We're going to put in here two tablespoonfuls of flour, all-purpose flour, and I'm going to say a flour of choice, if you can't add that. And then we're going to make our sauce now. It's going to be a combination of half a cup of cream, and I'm just using a regular coffee cream. You could use evaporated milk, that's usually what I use, but I didn't have any today, so I used my coffee cream. And that's substituting, eh, Raymond? You want to make, right. you don't want to have to go out and get something. No. And, to... Right, you got to go with what you got. And I'm going to put in there one and a half cups of water. But I'm going to gradually mix that in. If you want to add a little bit extra flavor, you can go um, a vegetable stock, you can go a chicken stock, or even use the fish stock that we just boiled. The, the fish in would be lovely so you you be the judge of that and just to have it nice and creamy that's all you need to do there I like that you keep saying use whatever you got in the fridge yeah because that's what it's like to cook yeah. and that's the way we cooked there years ago I mean our elders didn't have uh, access to a grocery store and they add what they add in their home and sometimes they borrowed some stuff from their neighbors. Oh, goodness. Half a cup of this yeah. and half a cup of that, you know. So, yeah. and there it is, a nice creamy sauce. Nice yeah. smell. Mm-hmm. Now just look at our codfish onion pie. Too good to eat, eh, Raymond? We're going to put it on the <laughs> counter here now to <laughs> okay, cut into it. I, uh, I'll get the plates ready. So. Yes, you know, I'm yeah. going to put this on the counter so I don't burn my hands. I'm going to say supper is ready, Raymond. We have got a delicious codfish onion pie here, just drooling, just waiting for it. And I think what we're going to do now is cut up a piece. Oh, oh you got your plate ready I'm over there. Trying to get the plates ready. Well, right you know what? Yeah. You can have yours pretty soon. <laughs> so let's just cut into our pie and we're going to take a piece out and show you what it looks like. 
I always say the first piece is never that pretty but I'm open that it's going to be and it'll all stay intact and I got a little bit bigger than a regular piece of pie <laughs> Raymond I don't I think I got an half of the pie here now but you got to admit see the word is just look Tasty. Yes, and just look at that. Now, I hope you can see. I can't see it as good as you, but just look at it. That beautiful potato on the bottom and the, and the codfish on the top. Yum. I'm going to put some sauce over it now. Now, I mean, sometimes you don't need to have a sauce over, but we here in our place, I'm going to put it right here, we need sauce over everything. We just feel that everything is that much better with some of that sauce, say eh, Raymond. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to have a taste. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I just want to dig right in. I want to take a little bit of everything, but I think it's going to be too much, <laughs> too much scooped up. So little taste of the top part. Oh my gosh, Raymond. You say the words. I will always say the words. Drop the fork, delicious. There Raymond, yours is coming. I know you, you, you're going to love it. The perfect taste of the fish blend on the top, and then you got the layers of the onion and the potato, and the tastiness of that crust. I think you're going to love this. This is a new crust, a new way for any early meal. So if you got something you wanted to make, like a stew, you want to bake a pie uh, with, you know, your your beef and such, this would be perfect. But... And, uh, what I, like, on the first of the show there, mm -hmm. uh, like, it was nice that you can use any kind of fish. Any kind of fish, yeah. I'm more or less saying white, white fish in general. I'm sure you could use salmon and that. But I've only used it with cod, like done it with cod, and I know salmon is very tasty. But if you've got a white fish that you like, I get to have another taste, Raymond. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll say this time. Drop the fork. Delicious. So good. So good. Two thumbs up. Gotcha. Keep your sauce on the stove top. Keep it warm, and put some in a serving dish to put on your table. Also, the leftover pie uh, crust, the dough, freeze it and use it for another pie or something that you want to make, of course. You can just roll it like that instead of the, the other way. I call it a rainy day pie, but this one, just you could leave it uh, round like that. This is it. This is as good as it gets. I can't wait for you to make it. This recipe today is going to be posted in under the video and if you're an East Link customer, uh, you can email me at bonitakitchen at gmail.com. I can send you the recipe or you can visit me as well on our website and get the recipe there. That will be www.bonitaskitchen.com. This is it, guys. I'm not going to take any more of your time. I know it's precious. We thank each and every one of you for stopping by here today. Of course, send us a message. If you can't find a recipe you're looking for, we'll be happy to help in any way. You can also visit us on our Facebook page. But on behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, stay safe and have a wonderful day. From our kitchen to yours. Join us by the sea. Journey and culinary, always an open door. Benita's kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen, Benita's kitchen, Benita's kitchen to yours.